so how to change that polygon and loft it inside Dynamo. Here we're using the command loft which is very similar to the technique blend that we have it in Autodesk Scribd. So let's start. First I need to create a polygon. So here you're gonna find different methods especially for those white points that we've done in a previous tutorial. I'm gonna use this one which is a regular polygon. It's basically depend on a circle. So if we drop that it's basic input required a circle. So let's create a circle. And I'm gonna use a circle center point radius, which is gonna be located in the zero zero origin. I'm not gonna change that because I'm not really keen of having any move or copy tool for that specific object. So I'm gonna connect the circle here and immediately uh, Dynamo will create uh, <clears throat> the required shape as you can see. I can change the number of sides here by adding a number or a slider and I also can make it bigger and smaller by adding a radius and also can control the point location as we did in the previous exercises. I'm gonna just keep that just to simplify this tutorial. Now I need to make a copy of that so I'm gonna go translate and I'm gonna use this one as I really need the, <clears throat> the geometry and the direction which will be the z-axis and the distance I, I don't recommend using XYZ in this method because I only keen in pushing that way and then change the shapes so I can now go ahead and make a copy of the polygon up or I can go ahead and make a copy of the circle it depends on whatever you want let's just copy the polygon now I need a z-axis to be connected to the direction and then a slider and let's go for an integer and then connect that integer, integer to the distance and then push it up you can see that now we actually have the copy of the polygon flying above by the amount of 4 units in the direction of a Z axis as you can see here now all what I need is to create a loft which again it's been called here loft and it's actually same command as blend that connect two shapes from a different types inside rivet too many methods either to create a surface or a poly surface or a solid or a rivet element <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna go for a solid creation here as long as I'm still working in this abstract environment and you can see that it needs cross sections in its plural condition so I need to select more than one cross section so I need to connect that for example and the circle here which is this one and this one in order to create the, the loft so I cannot connect those both together because they are uh, an, in a single condition so you must have here a list create that list with its two indexes so connect this one to it so that will guarantee the polygon because it's been taken here and then take the circle to it so now we have as you can see when you select it it's gonna go as blue so it's gonna connect this and this by connecting the list to the cross sections as you can see here we managed to model this which is the, the uh, loft as we called in dynamo or blend as it's called in rivet and it's all again based inside the <clears throat> inside the dynamo 
abstract area. If you want to reflect that into rivet uh, conceptual mass, for example, we need to do a little of more tricks. So let's go here. Uh, I'm going to go model. And here we need two types of modeling. The first one is model curve from curve loop. And here it need to deal with a, a poly curve, so it only fits with this type, which is the the uh, the polygon. So I'm gonna connect it, and you're gonna see it here. In in your machine, it might be very small, and you can see it at the beginning. Probably you're gonna get this, you know, exactly that's you know the the x and y and all that. So probably you need to zoom in for a couple of minutes, as you can see, a little bit annoying. Okay, in order to see it. So now we change this from an abstract condition into a model condition or a rivet condition. Now we need a different type of model curve here, and I'm gonna use this one, model curve by curve. And you can see here, it required a curve, not a poly. So I will go to the circle that I have here, and I connect it. And you can see that it's now have both circle and the, the, the polygon created here. Now all you need to do is to go again and have a loft. And here under the rivet, choose this guy loft by cross sections so you can see that those are very similar as a concept except that this will create it in the model space and this one create it in the abstract space so that's a more reference method rather than this is an abstract method and again it's need more than one thing it's need more than curves again and in this case we need a list so copy this and paste it here don't worry about the previous connection you can just disconnect it and then connect that poly curve that we turn into a model curve here and then connect this curve and connect it here and then connect those together like that and as you see now rivet created for us the required uh, geometry here again as you can see I'm just going to select it and then I'll need to carefully move around it. It's really small. And that's another blend or a loft. It depends on what, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I wish that you find this tutorial useful. Thank you very much and have a good day.